Well, talks have stalled and time is running out to avoid a strike at ports like ours right across the country. And as Tan Trung reports, it could lead to shortages and supply chain issues, making it hard to buy the things you need. The International Longshoremen's Association, which represents 85,000 workers at ports along the Atlantic and Gulf coasts, including 700 at the Port of New Orleans, is planning to strike next week. In a recent YouTube video, the ILA's president described what he believes will happen when his members go on strike. First week, be all over the news every night, boom, boom. Second week, guys who sell cars can't sell cars because the cars ain't coming in off the ships. Since June, contract talks have been frozen between the ILA and the U.S. Maritime Alliance, which represents terminal operators. The union is demanding better wages and guarantees ports will not fully automate their operations. Henry Glover is a president of a local chapter of the ILA. And they're trying to get uh, robots and stuff to do our jobs and put us out of business. The ILA says tens of thousands of members are prepared to go on strike. That includes 700 at the Port of New Orleans. Longshoremen say without their presence at the docks, people should brace for shortages and supply chain issues. From cars to toilet paper to different chemicals, everything is shipped over to the United States. We unload them. UNO economics professor Ali Bustamante says potential impacts from the strike depend on how long it could last. When we think about just a strike of one or two weeks, it's very nominal in, in the context of it's not going to impact consumer prices significantly. But when we're talking about a strike that looms a month or longer, then you're talking about substantial costs to consumers. The Port of New Orleans has been avoiding interviews during the labor negotiations. But in a statement, the port says it's always maintained a good working relationship with ILA members. That said, it is preparing for a potential work stoppage on October 1st. The White House is urging both sides to resume talks, but only days remain. Tan Trung, Fox 8, Local First. Local longshoremen say that if a deal isn't reached, they'll begin picketing on Tuesday morning.